And welcome back, everybody. This is going to be round two tonight. It's March 29th, 2017. We're on the lovely Yeho Rivka near the airfield. My name is The Muff Bandit. I'm here with Hammer and Hutch. What's going on? We are going to be running a beautiful operation called Open Road. And this is Squad Ops. Let's see here. First round, very entertaining. This is round two. We'll go over all the basic stuff again for anyone just tuning in. And let's keep it rolling. U.S. starts at the airfield. That's where we're at. You can see they're doing a little briefing. They can drop a FOB anytime they want, but they can't build to defend it until live. They also cannot build on the airstrip itself the runway they need that you know for planes to take off and land and things uh they've got two logi trucks for their entire platoon they're going to be running supplies back and forth unescorted as much as they want or until they die they can escort it if they choose to there are also no mobility restrictions for anybody they can go anywhere run anywhere walk anywhere do anything they want. So if the U.S. wants to, they can go attack the Russians, leaving their main. They can get there faster. Who died to the smoke? Other than that, there's really not much else to it. This is a real dynamic operation. It's a big air airstrip and airfield, so they can attack and defend from any angle. Let's kick it over to Hutch. He's going to tell us what the Russians are going to be bringing towards us. Absolutely. So what we got right now. Russia's uh, SLs in command are going over their whole plan. Check the map. You can see some kind of areas or general concepts of how they're going to be formulating their attack and pushing out from it. But uh, essentially, they're probably going to try to go east or west or maybe a combination of the both of the pinch movement. But uh, just same kits as before for Russia. And um, that kind of east-west attack does look like is what is formulating up right now. So that's going to be pretty interesting how they decide to execute with the terrain around the airfield. And uh, the evidence of approach, you know, I'm surprised no one's really pushed the uh, north side of the airfield with that nice long tree line that goes all the way up and that short defilade. It, like, really, it's been kind of underutilized by both teams. But uh, what I'm most you know, interested we to find out this about time. Muff, yeah, right. What I am interested to see is uh, how Russia is going to maneuver on this objective area, you know, and how U.S. is going to defend it if they're going to throw guys up in that tree line, try to uh, stop that movement, you know. And also, what I was going to say was to see how Russia is going to plan if they're going to hit. The objective like they are building in the north side of the airfield or the south is those kind of change the dynamic a little bit on where they're going to figure out what side is actually going to be defended you know yeah then walls yep it's going to be cool it was really cool watching licious strategy play out we were kind of like there's a lot of open fields there and stuff yep. and they actually pushed in they just they got in and they tore it up all the way in they threw so many smoke grenades and had the suppression okay, going and everything was great. 30, right, guys? That was so key. that's going to be real that. cool to see what happens this time. Yeah, totally. Yeah, maintain that suppression is vital. Yeah, just the threat of it and knowing that you you know it could be shot through those windows uh, behind yep. those walls in certain scenarios with certain guns. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Being bringing out the real effective bullet pen with all weapon systems has been awesome it really changed the whole dynamic of like cover and how now it's actually relative extremely relative to what you're actually going up against which i love yeah well as for the u.s they've got those two lodges i mentioned running back and forth we run in supplies which means they can drop up to 450 cals which are allowed by this fob they could put them anywhere as long as it's not on that runway, the runways must be clear. Yeah. They've also got two transport trucks to move them back and forth or move them wherever they want to, if they choose to utilize those. Heck, they yeah. can use them to, to block uh, or choke off points if they want to. But they've also got two open top Humvees, which, which actually helped the U.S. a lot last round. And ultimately, they won. Yep, they did. What I like about those... Uh, barely. Those Humvees as well is the turrets. Because with your stationary 50 cows that U.S. gets, you have a very, like, minimal arc of cover, like 10 to 2, you know. It's not it's not a really wide angle. So to have those 50s to be able to orient 
360 degrees is a great asset on a defensive role to put those heavy fires where you want them if you know the other team is pushing up through a blind spot <clears throat> so that'll be interesting to see how they're they're used this round with lish uh, militia's assets are going to be as follows Within the squad, squad they rate two times ARs, one times GL, will be and one times medic. So infantry, two automatic medic, riflemen, a grenadier, and a medic uh, per squad. West, with the uh, their platoon assets, they rate two times BTR 80s, which are the standard BTRs the we've had um, in like V8 and everything. And they also get one times APC with the NSTV. So they have an armored personnel carrier as well. So they need to see how those are played out. Man, and I, I every time I play squad since V9 and hear those APCs rumbling around, it is just awesome. You know? Yeah, and Especially they're just so loud. It's foggy it, you, you know, hear them, but you can't see them yet. It's just, yeah, oh, it's my oh, yeah, it's awesome. It. It's really cool. Uh, those tracks rumble around the battlefield. Ben, I was going to take them in a, B, a one BTR. Well, you know what? We got Lish commanded over here on the, on the USA side this time. He was the Russian formerly. Uh, right same squad leaders. No particular order. We got are Russia. They're getting. Uh, All their orders set up. They're doing their quick little platoon oh, brief God. right now, uh, kind of hey, figuring out. Yeah, nice. Be quiet. Thank you. Well, let me see. Right. Let me get the quick cameras up to what we're talking the, uh, about. So after the BTR drops us off, I assume oh, it's gotcha. important that they fall back to the west, northwest, immediately after dropping us off, so that they're not uh, giving us the best chance of getting in the contact. <laughs> so they drive north All right. instead of just going straight east into the action. All right. Let's see what the US force have. Okay. For, so far, for. For command on the U.S. list this time, and his squad leaders in no particular order, right. our best pony, Alexo, and Odie Tap again. They were the same three from round one. All right. If there's no other questions, let's uh, go what ahead. What do you got on your side, Hutch? Squads, pick them out. Three for me, one, we got you need to do. squad one with best pony. Squad two is Odie Tap, and squad three is Alexo, commanded. Oh, check that. That was <laughs> <we're flipped>. <laughs> <laughs> wrong, wrong team. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Xbit is in squad one. We got Binbet, Binbot with squad two. Krusty the Sailor with squad three, and Schmitty is commanding. Twenty to twenty-five. Sorry, not ten to twenty-five. Oh, that's beautiful. So it's the same team, same setup from from round one. So yep. we also, saw like, awesome organization and, uh, from all sides MTLB and all squads uh, in this first BTR. round. So we can expect the same thing this time. I hope. Uh, it seems yeah, like everything's BTR. going smooth. I, my BTR, comms are just going crazy, so they're organizing the heck out of themselves on the U.S. side. Yeah, same here. They're figuring out how they're going to be sitting which, uh, in which vehicles and getting set up. Lobo, come with me. Oh, he's in trouble. Now we got a crazy Russian added to the camera package. Just one more angle for everyone to get right, kids, gather around. a look from. Now. Should I go and pick it up? I need a little. Listen. Lobo, get out. We're running lodges. So, the basic rifleman is the same person, right? That's why you guys are all just the exact same person? It's not just a thing a of medic. RNG? Oh, a medic. okay. So what am I? Yeah. You're the same people. So, same as them. I have an AR. Am I? Um. Oh yeah, dude. We're all black. <laughs> I want Justin, I want Polcat to be doing both lodges. Justin, you're gonna grab one Polcat, you're gonna grab another. Lobo, as soon as you get back to Maine, you're gonna stay there. I haven't seen any ready calls yet. Oh, Russia then, has called as ready. As soon as Polcat gets U.S. not quite yet. Again, you're gonna get on the launching. I don't want Polcat waiting for you uh, to switch. Understood? I'm sounding like a dick right now. I apologize. Oh, that's all right. I hurt your feelings. Oh. Front BTR, front BTR. All right, both teams have said they're ready to go, so we should be having Scott, live here do, any minute to kick this off. On the yeah, I can see east side a couple possible. of runners in the lodges ready to go for the U.S. We've got the Humvees ready to rock, drivers, gunners. But only when you're in position. Beautiful. Yeah, we've got Russia. reaffirming strategies. Russia's getting all set up as well, getting everyone all seated up. I think they're playing Rochambeau for who's going to have to sit on top of the vehicle. 
<laughs> Negative. <laughs> That's funny. Charlie Nine keypad yeah, two. with these Russian vehicles, you only get so many, and then they start riding on top. Also, by the way, uh, where is uh, the? Uh, you know what? In round one, uh, I didn't BTR see anybody on, on top Just for Russia, map, so. so he sees it. That, that APC could hold 19 people. Maybe that's yep, what they can. need to work on. Squad 2, front BTR needs a driver. Oh, yeah. Where, so where exactly are we going, uh, Command? The front BTR that's going to the east side, where should it drop off, Squad 1? Do you have spit for spitting? All right, we're we can probably uh, call a ready time. How about 142? Wait, wait, yeah. you're driving. Just dismounts, dismounts. You guys are on the wrong. Our squad leader told us that this is the BTR to use. We're also, uh, to the east side. Yeah. That's where we're going. Well, yeah, that's oh, okay. it. That gives us a minute, uh, 50 seconds, we're going to be live. It's always cool watching the, everyone scatter on the defense point at the beginning. Absolutely. You got Russia all staged up. They're ready to rock and roll. Just standing by they for do, the They're going to convoy. They're just going to convoy out of there for a while. It's yeah, cool. and it looks like it's with awesome. Russia, they're actually going to be splitting their guys up. So they're not going to be keeping them all together. We have one go with a really kind of heavy, like, armor fist push, and it was very, you know, coordinated in one direction. They just maximize all their firepower in one way. I don't think we're going to see that in round two with Russia. I think it's going to be a little bit more spread out. They're going to be dropping guys off in different angles and then trying to convert. Oh, that'll be cool. That'll be cool. Poking right. them from everywhere. Yeah. Timing, I think, is going to be the uh, central aspect of this. Exactly. Very much so. All right. We are going to be live any minute. Here we go. You're live now. Good luck and good hunting. Ooh, I like it. Right. And off we go. What angle is it driving at? There we go. I got free lift for you, let you know. Amazing. So Muff, by the look of it, how is U.S. establishing their defense? I'd like to like get some angles on how they're setting up their defenses and what angles they're kind of preparing and prepping for, you know? Well, you know what? They all started in the same spot, and they've yeah. all ran away so far. Gotcha. I see. Okay. The other two they've, they had their fob. They placed their fob. And along. actually, Foxtrot 10, keypad 3, Juliet that Kilo bottom Kilo. corner down there. And yeah, Juliet, at least I think, think that's where it's at. I think north of Petrenko or north of oh yeah, yeah, there it is. So it's right there, and uh, so they've got a dropped a 50 cal to the south. Okay. And it's actually looking uh, yeah, kind of northeast, MSR, basically uh, kind of towards the fields uh, that the Russians crossed like right last right round, except right south right of that. Right. Gotcha. Yeah. In the meantime, the Lodgy's running like crazy. Transport right heading right north. north. No, actually, that's two Humvees up towards Central Novo is where they're at. Other than that, not too much. They're, uh, the, the, where the fighting ended last time, OD Tap squad is. Or at least his fire team. He must control the Humvees as well. So they're staying pretty close to home. Nothing. They're not even going into Central Novo. They're just in the trees and valleys, drainages around it just being patient yep what do you got going yeah. over from the russians where are they headed to right now we're scattered we got one going center of the map like they're going to be uh the apc is going to be pushing up to central novo and then we have a btr on each flank we got one going up towards the north doing like a northeast flank another one pushing west and now moving south should be interesting how these guys get played out and how they're pushing out to the objective area. I think timing's going to be key. If they're doing a kind of split attack like this or the pincer movement, timing is going to be everything on this. Oh yeah, very much so. Getting the suppression from all angles, making them feel surrounded. Yep. Alright, we're going to...
US Logi trucks kinda, running like crazy right now. Yep, APC's holding up. They did a quick security halt, turn their engines off just to hear audible, see if there's any scout Humvees in the area, which I think was a really smart move. That APC's back that, on moving. That is a good move. Dude, you can't Very hear anything move. when you're sitting inside that thing. It's just noisy and loud. I almost like oh, yeah. like squad Clanky. comms. Yeah, yeah. I use squad comms just to communicate within the vehicle. That would be something cool to see integrated later on in the game is like um, intercom with inside a vehicle. Yeah, yep. Or earmuffs or something just to kind of muffle the yeah. vehicle while you're riding in it and stuff like that. Yeah. We'll see what they introduce. It's exciting. They're growing the game, making it so much better all the time. It's amazing. I am in love with V9. Me too. Love it. Me too. The U.S. They're they're building a sandbag wall. I, I'm not sure. What exactly their main strategy is. Oh, they put another 50 cal. By a bush looking north up the road. They're they're gonna try and they're definitely placing 50 cals in positions to hunt down vehicles, to take out vehicles. Oh, for sure. Lots of walls being built. Those lodges are still running. You know, they're not pushing out. They've got the two Humvees up in Central Novo. That's it. And they've actually pushed into Central Novo now. Yeah, there's something interesting happening with Russia. I just noticed the uh, MCLB, you know, the armored personnel carrier, it only has a gunner driver, which means the entire team is split up into two vehicles. Wow. Without, um, each BTR. Yeah, with a wide sweep. So they pretty much split their forces in half to hit the uh, airfield on uh, two separate sides. Oh, crap. I forgot to say. So you know, the U.S. is here in this APC and all this noise center. Oh, I think they do here. Nice you know? You know, they and they both got walls to kind of guard them. They're going to yeah. light this thing up if it comes out in front of them. The APC just sitting quiet, getting some concealment engines off, just listening. Well, you got whose fire team is up by you, Muff? Who are you looking at? You know, right it's now? um, I think it's a fire team of Tap Squad, so it's fire team uh, squad two, and that uh -huh. is correct. And we got Bajellan, Total Providence, and then we got Slinger and Big Yes. And they're just sitting here patiently waiting for that uh, APC to move in. That's key, man. It really is. So yeah. Um, we got Binbot Squad, Squad 2 is there. They got control over that APC in the center with uh, Dingo sitting in the gunner seat, just standing by, starting NATO, just pulling a little bit of outer security around the vehicle. You know, it's so funny, like, you could be looking at this game and how it's going, you're like, well, maybe I'd, you know, push out a little bit. But it's always hindsight. When you're on the ground and, like, what's around you, you have, you have no idea. That's the oh, yeah. fun aspect so about, easy. about squad ops I love. Or this game, squad in general is, like, your situational awareness you have to really establish all the time you know which i love yeah it's really easy to say what this team should do and what they shouldn't do or don't do that but they don't they don't see everything like we do no, we see everything you know yeah. we, we're the perfect strategist in this yeah. scenario you know it's like chess but we can see everything and we know what the opponent or the opponent's thinking so it's awesome to watch how they play it out when they don't know it's a guess sometimes they just guess and it yep. works or it doesn't work and it's great and and when they die and they're watching they have a lot of time to think about it <laughs> like oh totally. i shouldn't have done that and and you can see it you can see people develop over operations and stuff like, oh I yeah love absolutely. It. there's been times there's been times where we're like this is so-and-so's first op as a commander you know and they come out and they win a round and it's like yes that's awesome they came out and they won one or they win their second one or something like that in the meantime, I, on the Humvees, they're in a just a standoff with the APC. I think they're both just waiting for the other one to make a move. God, we all just got to hold here. I hate this. This is my least favorite part. Is Ape, this yep, the Sedingo's in the APC. I'm not sure what their plan is. But I do see Russians to the east. Yeah, we got X. We got X bit set up over here. Way up here. They're just now dismounted, uh, slowly, uh, kind of starting to push up on the objective area. Is that from the northeast? 
That is, yep. That's from the. That's like due east of the airfield. Okay, so that's almost where Lish's kind of main force came up from in round one. Yeah, they kind of picked that same sort of terrain, probably using that that tree line, that defilade of the ditch to wiggle their way up toward the objective area. I know that. Yeah, but one but thing it looks I've like heard... they're the only squad there. Exactly. Yep. Because there's going to be another squad pushing out, and another beat are coming in from the west side. They're uh, about a grid square out from storage, maybe two. So they're slowly moving in. So the whole, whole essence here is, is yeah, timing, which I've heard over command chat. That's right. They get staged and uh, can oh, wow. initiate contact at the whole... same time, so they're getting hit from multiple angles. Yeah, that's uh, Oh, big yes is trying to scout forward. He's looking. Zone, I think Big Yes is looking for that MTLB. That I'm sure they heard it. I'm sure the the two Humvees heard it, and so now they're looking for it. Yeah. Sergeant NATO is covering the MTLB. Big Yes is pushing on it. Sedingo's in the gunner seat. You know, if he sneaks around right, he could he could hit NATO. Okay. So Big Yes saw the MTLB, but he did not see NATO. NATO was behind the bush. Be advised, we don't have any guys in Nova. That's just our driver pulling security for the gunner. Sudingo's in the gunner seat. Big Yes is looking around. Oh, yeah, he's calling. He sees it. <laughs> he knows it's there. The he's falling back. He's waiting. Wait, press into position. See if those Humvees Copy. decide to move. It appears they have no intentions of moving. I'm very scared. You still got a good angle from up above. So how's your drive? Big yes is falling back. Is he talking about bringing up a uh, lat team or anything like that, or just you know, I can't contact. They're definitely using squad chat, so I don't know what they're talking about. Gotcha. But big yes is falling back, so I think they might just be planning maybe a bum rush on it, or they could just wait it out. Yeah, let them let that APC move into them. Man, I don't see that was funny. Sergeant NATO just moved up to the corner that Big Yes was on before he ran away. They just he moved back now, but they were thirty seconds apart from seeing each other. Can you say again? I didn't. NSV. Looks like the Humvees are starting to relocate. Oh, they might be rushing it. Oh, they're gonna get him from the west side. You're getting behind the vehicles. BTI. Humvees times two, uh, heading to the north. Oh, they're they're flanking them. They're gonna get hit. Let's see what happens. Oh, NVST lighting them up. NATO's uh, slingers down. Providence and Magellan hitting them. One Humvee down. Ooh, he's got to reload. Oh, Boy, they just ate wow. up that Humvee. And Total Providence goes down, too. Great shooting by Sedango. Whew, that was rough for the U.S. That did not go very well for them. They lost Big Yes, and they lost Total Providence, and they also lost... I don't know who else they lost. Slinger. So, Magellan's falling back. Yeah, Jones probably like, I immediately oh, regret yeah, this decision. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Happen. oh man. Once they commit to that compound copy. I I mean that was a they that was rough. The U.S. knew where they were. They had the advantage and everything, and just just got eaten up. They got heard. They were heard. That's what it was. The sound gave them away. I think if they they're, they're see the sandbag if they would have, so I don't know how they could have done that better. They would have needed to stay away or perhaps bring a Humvee in from two different sides. Let, let you know one of funny? them distract it and let the other one kill it. Do, Both do a teams drive by was doing a sense. similar approach and I didn't even notice this. Like you got, I'm noticing that. Yeah. Four squad is down moving up and they're, they're doing like their pinch, but they're moving. They actually decided to bring both the BTRs to one side. So they went heavy on the east side. They're walking it up on the west. So it should be kind of interesting how this kind of, how's US 
sitting up. Because I don't see a lot of guys inside their defense area. I mean, they got a couple up point. All okay, right, I get, the, I get it. Well, if you, if you buzz yourself down to the south side, if you see like that's like Echo their main. Nine, Echo, Echo Ted defense. keypad three. You'll so see they're their, using they the got old, a little. They're using the they're using the north side as more of an op. Yep, exactly. They've got a bunch of emplacements. They've got bunkers and fifty cals, and they are just stacked down here. And they've you know, also think about got this. They're going to be hitting the north side. You know, and if they don't adjust that attack, they need to bring all their. They're staging like they're hitting the north side of the airfield. Which is a yeah. big open area. They're gonna have to recover again to even push south. Oh yeah. So I, I'm you got you kind of got to feel bad for Odi Tap and the remainder remaining fire team with him because they are very isolated from the remainder. Oh, absolutely. No, but wait. Just I want suppression. I want the main force to start suppressing this. There's also a BTR to the northeast of Odi Tap squad. This is rough for the U.S. now. They've lost one Humvee. The other one's taking some shots. Uh, literally minimal damage to the Russians. Shadow JG and Ben Bot are just randomly firing into buildings. Just took OD Taps full squad prone. The Russians are. They're just they're firing random shots. Find random shots in the buildings, keeping them suppressed. The expert, expert's running up. He's a squad leader too. He's choosing to run up through the mess of it. Little Jin coming behind him. And they're going to be expending a lot of uh, smokes and stuff to get up to this objective. And then once they do, just to realize that wait, it's not here, and that they got to cover another massive amount of open ground before they get to the objective area. This is interesting. U.S. just opened up from the southern position. The U.S. has seen him from the south. Which, oh, little Gin goes down. Little Gin. Uh, where's Odi Tap? There's Odi Tap. He's still alive. Thought he went down. I can hear vehicles moving. My other, my squad is trapped. I check out. So he, Russia just oh, figured it here out. Here comes, here comes Russians from the west. Uh, It'll be interesting to see them come in. Get some, I mean, you got U.S. inside their fob is just laying down hate. Oh, yeah, they are. They're There's no hiding. The rain right now. They're like, no, lay it down. Do not all stack up on the north. We need to keep west secure. That Humvee's meantime, coming back in. <laughs> in the meantime, there's three guys left in this northern building. Truth Realm, Saloon number 12, and Jenga Master. I mean, they did an excellent job. Uh, providing a feint up there gives some kind of fire yeah they did they did Russia. very well they've still got you know. a btr and a mtlb up here the other btrs way to the east reloading, reloading. so us does have a humvee looking west which is going to be coming really handy when fort squad actually meets up with them yeah but Jelen actually picked up od tap and took him back south Oh, someone goes down. I think it was Jay Remick. Yeah, Jay Remick just got dropped. Long shot by a BTR or something. Lodgy's still running. Lodgy's are still running. Wow. Yeah, I, a Polcat just pulled up. He got out. They're finally done running. Copy. Hold Dang. So yeah, like right now, Russia's starting to kind of figure it out. They're like, all right, hey, um, their fob is somewhere in the south. You know, like they've decided to defend on the south side of the airfield, and we're hitting the north. The so Russia's starting to break contact. They're they're going south essentially, following this trench line all the way down. 
You know what I'm not seeing is any U.S. soldiers looking to the west. And there happens to be Schmitty and a full squad over there. Yep. To the I west mean, in luckily, the hangars or on the other side of it. U.S. dropped a 50 watching that far left hangar if you're looking at the T-intersection. Uh, yep. Oh, it's fill in the blank. Yeah. Looking that way. Fill in the blanks on there. Which so will be he's good. Looking. That'll pay Here's off. There's the BTR to the east. BTR just laying down. down the suppression. It's got Chaklo, Exodus, Faku all prone behind the sandbags. I think what we're going to see in further ops on down the line um, with this particular op Go. is recon is going to play a much more important aspect of and actually determining what side they're on uh, and how they're going to hit it. If, because you have to really commit to a side once you do. Die, Otherwise, do you're really, the defenders are not dictating the tempo, you know? Yep, so the attackers getting in and getting a good recon of the objective area before committing their attack is going to be vital. Oh, definitely. Especially now with such a such a giant area to defend. Yeah, and two popular areas. I mean, there's a third where you could build up around essentially the little that little tower. You know, by all the hangars. Here we go. Oh, here here comes the MTLB from the northwest. It's taking shots from the 50. A lot of them. And it's shooting them back though. It is shooting back. That thing actually absorbed a lot. Good job there. The BTRs are shooting. They got a MTLB kind of west northwest. They've got a BTR north and they've got a BTR east. Oh, BTR Ooh, down. BTR just went down. Oh, I missed it. I don't know who got it, but oof, duh. BTR down. You know, I don't know. I don't even know if they had a good work on that gun. Oh, they do. Yep. I watched. Yep, they definitely got guns pointing that way. Roger. I told him to move. They didn't want to move up. Command, let me push up and take a look. Four squads in a great spot, maneuvering right up to the uh, west side of the airfield. They're in a little bit of defilade yeah. behind that ridge line. Be advised, They're just kind of staging, coordinating, and starting to move up. But good positioning. It's just how are they going to cover this rest of this open advised, ground? Our, Fill in the blank has left his gunner spot. Copy. Well, their pincer movement kind of worked. West of Alexo, but I don't know where Alexo's at. You know what I mean, Muff? As far as positioning, they got themselves in a pretty good spot as far as, like, at least executing their plan as far as what they wanted with positioning. Who's that, the Russians? The Russians, they finally kind of got the oh, rest of their yeah. platoon in a position where they got that pincher that they wanted, literally pinching the objective area in two, on two sides. Yeah, they are. They're in a beautiful spot. Yeah, They've got absolutely. their full squad to the south with command, or to the west, I'm sorry, and a full squad to the east, as well as a BTR to the north. They've got vehicular support at two angles. They did just lose a BTR, but they've already taken out one Humvee for the U.S. I wonder how they're doing on ammo. They tend to be, they tend to be packing pretty well. Not anyone's, no one's shot too much yet. Mostly the U.S. 50s, which will, will be reloaded at the I have ice. Uh, squad. Yeah, Russia, they, they did expend some ammo trying to hit the uh, the north compound. So we'll see how much they got left for the south. Just, you know, Looks like Magellan's going to see that BTR and start taking shots. There it goes. Yep. Oh, he's lighting them up. Fire. Oh, he is Accurate lighting them up. Fire. They're trying to shoot back, but they're not hitting him. Oh, he, he hit him quite a few times. They're They're hurting. Definitely hurting a little bit. Copy your eyes here as well. Oh. Jalen right, Jalen got out just in time. Humvee they down. shot back and got him. Yeah, Humvee went down. Looking you know what? He did. Down. That Humvee was already hurting pretty good from the first encounter yeah, with the MTLB. So good job. He lit them up and and got out alive. So it's about all they could expect out of that thing. It was like a destructible 50 cal at that time with the great turret. Here comes the suppression. Across the field. So Here comes the suppression. Take the low ground. Let's see what they do at the west. Okay. Yep, they're taking that low Excellent ground. Excellent spread on the west. Yep, they're gonna hit that tree line, I bet you, and then move I'm gonna right check. on the left side of the road. I'm gonna check incapacitations. You know, a lot of people left still. A lot of people left. Command, Not a lot of kills for either team. Looks like three to six. Now. Advantage Russia. I'm going to get right down on the deck over here in this kind of tree line where um, four squads pushing up to the crusty squad. And you know what? They're with this low hill. 
this, anyone shooting off yeah, they, the sandbag line is going to be really skylighting themselves, you know? And they got a nice line of sight. Cressy's reported in. They got good defilade all the way around. So using that terrain to their advantage to maneuver up on the enemy, even though they have open ground. Nope. nope. When you get down on the deck, it's actually a pretty short distance they're going to have to cover. Oh, and they're completely unknown. The, the uh, U.S. Oh, doesn't yeah. even know they're there. They're going to walk up and just poor Alexo squad in the south here. Might so not even see it coming. It's going to be rough. It. They they might just get four grenades thrown at them and just poof, they're all dead really quick. Yep. And it's then rot squad it and depends. everyone else up here okay, could just pretty much hold TLB. hold pause. Keep inside that defilade and let the other squad maneuver. Yep, and that's the that's the U.S. strategy now. They straight up Alamo the shit out of this right now. They did. Who squads so up in the north? That's that's starting to push onto. Uh, they pulled back off the north side of the airfield and they're essentially trailing this wood line. Commander, I got a guy, he's looking our direction right now. Copy. So Krusty's talking, they may be spotted. He has some concerns about possibly getting spotted, so we'll see. They're going to have to commit eventually. I see a U.S. soldier or two looking that way, but it, it looks like Krusty's pretty unspotted still. possible contacts west of you to infantry, maybe. Here we go. Oh. Lat from the U.S. almost hits the BTR. That appeared to be the first one. Oh, another lat. Ah, close one. On fire. Boom. BTR down. Great lats by the U.S. I kind of missed it behind the trees, but... Dingo's pushing right there. up there. That's, that's... Oh, and that MTLB is there. Oh, they've, they're lighting them up. Man. They're saying, get some. Sergeant NATO's getting out. Sergeant NATO's getting it. Do they have a... If they have lat, I think they've screwed. got a... Oh, there it goes. Yeah. Okay, all Russian vehicles are that down. All U.S. vehicles are down, or at least... Assault vehicle. That was risky. All right, here comes the, the Southwestern Force. They're, they're spotted. Alexa's spot, squad has spotted them. But this, they're pushing across from the other side now. Oh, they're, the pinch is real now. The pinch is happening. I'm going to follow the northern side. You guys are going to get Barton's camera on the south. Sounds good. x goes down. Beckham Gordel Franks goes down. U.S. forces spreading out really good among this wall. Yep. And this was coordinated, Muff. The, on, uh, the Russians are throwing comms. smoke, so they're, they're gonna, they might get that push through. Yep. On Schmidt's comms, he coordinated it. He was like, hey, ready, go. Four squad, go. And so he, he got him in position. And got them moving. So oh, that's it's awesome. Cool to see that command and control thing happening. That's awesome. Smokes I love hearing that coordination. The yeah, they're getting their smokes and they're starting to close with. You want us to smoke? Yep, smoke it. You know what? We got a flank from Truth Realm, Jenga Masker, and and somebody else. Saloon number twelve. For the U.S., they they pushed a flank around, but the Russians pushed right in front of them. They only got one kill out of the field. Man. And here comes. Brolando, Barton, Barton HD, he's checking out these smokes Ford, they're throwing. Ford. They're throwing up a yeah. curtain on the south side over oh, here. Oh, both of them. Both of them are just, oh, it's just smoke heaven. And you know what? Look at the U.S. They're starting to realize they've got to keep that 360. I can see a yeah. bunch of U.S. soldiers. Oh, there they are. They're helping out. They're firing down. Lats just getting thrown towards the. Oh, man. The there is just in. lead slinging Mighty's everywhere. These the tracers charge. are awesome. Look at Mighty making it all the way up to the sandbags right now. This is insane. Getting a base, getting bandaged. Jeez. There's still Russians in the field to the east. Oh, Mighty, oh, Mighty goes down. Oh, Krusty goes down. Led the way. He got way in there, too. Two, four, five. Five Russians to the southwest. Four Russians to the east. Reloading. It's All squads on the uh, Russian side are calling they're just out. A bunch of everybody's smoke. pinned. For the most part, they're seeing smoke. Yeah, they're calling. Everybody's pinned right now. All squads. So U.S. has done a good job of maintaining that fire superiority. You know. Yeah, especially for their lack of visibility right now. Yeah. The Russians might be pinned, but they 
are safe. They, they're unknown. Oh, more each kids goes down. His smoke ran out. <laughs> he was behind a smoke. That was their last window. You know what I mean? They needed to get that violence of action where everyone push up on that wall. Yep, so, there's nothing left for him. I yep. think that's kind of what happened. You can see a couple of their guys back farther dead. Mighty pushed up. Mighty dropped a guy or two in there, I think. But uh, they... They've got to take a different angle now. There's no getting in through that open field into that area. Oh, gosh. In the meantime, there's only two left on the east. Server error 404 and Grim HD. Of course, they're being watched by Hawks, or like Hawks, by fill in the blank. Best pony, his squad. Dr. Kamikaze, Jekyll person. Excellent. Appreciate the help, boys. Welcome. Beautiful stuff here. All right, well, it's not the help, boys. I'm hearing excellent c communication on the comms. Thanking each other for helping out. That's awesome. If I start taking pops, then we know they're alive. They're still just... There are bullets flying everywhere. The entire yeah. South squad has fallen back for the Russians. Excellent work by the U.S. here. Yeah, Rush is talking right now over comms. Those that are left, um, essentially, Squad 1 is just going to be laying low and digging in as best they can and kind of playing dead while the, rem the remnants of 4th Squad is going to be pushing up and trying to maneuver around and hit from another direction and essentially allow what the, rem the remnants of this 1st Squad to be able to make some kind of push. But without any smokes against a well-entrenched enemy right now, it's going to be tricky. Oh, Krusty the Sailor, the squad leader for that South right, Southern squad that just kind of got defended off. He said that was a painful push. A yeah. Uh, it was so close, yeah, Krusty. You guys were so close to getting on, to going in there and unseen. That was so cool. I was waiting for you guys to get in there. But they spotted you in the nick of time. And as you can see now, they are loaded with sandbags. I can see them. Yeah, don't, don't fire currently. Stay down. Remember where they are. We're not, you're gonna get, if there's only two of us, we're so close. We don't know how many of them are left. All right, we got squad two, Truth Realms, the leader of it now. With squad US number 12. Is, and yeah, the US is pulling in that outer security. Out That's smart. Oh, down he goes. Grim HD drops Truth Realm. So we're down to two guys over here. Saloon number 12 is moving in. They don't see him, they're shooting randomly. Oh, Grim HD goes down. Server error 404 is alive. You can see soldiers reloading. A lot of cameras over on server 404. He's definitely not going to move. He's probably got a heart rate of about 120 beats per minute right now. <laughs> no joke. So and it's Silas. like, look, he's he's got a little two foot section of grass right just like behind. <laughs> just little, using that concealment, like, a like please don't see me. I know that feeling. I've been there so oh, many times. Yeah, <laughs> just like. Please don't see me. <laughs> uh, so he's and, got a grenade. Oh God, I didn't even realize what it was like from this angle, looking at this wall. Oh, the 50 sandbags. cows lighting up the through the hangar, oh, engaging guys on the other side. The oh, there you go. He could probably pierce through that. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh, he got, got one. Foo. He got somebody. Oh, that's yep, CG so Foo. I'm so sorry, CG Foo. You just got the won the lottery for <laughs> headshots or something. America just laying it down. Watch your back, lass. Watch your back, lass. I'll probably hold it for now. We got Merrick 362 shooting, and he is just shooting randomly. It appears that the remainder, remaining Russian forces have fallen back. Getting behind Defilade, moving north farther. You know what? They have to. There's only a few of them left to the west. Such a huge fortress for the, it's like a fortress now for the U.S. They built a ladder up on top of the crate so they can scout out. <laughs> Smart. Maybe that's where Lish caught the movement, you know? 
Yeah, I'm not sure when they built it, but they're definitely their confidence is going up. They have held, they they stonewalled them. Server error 404 is just creeping up, creeping. Yep. Saloon and your master just laying low. Fuck, I have no cover after this. Oh, he bled out. He was bleeding. He bled out. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> oh. Awesome, I didn't hear it. Jenga. Oh, look at them all shooting. They're all oh, shooting like Jackal? they won. It's not over. Uh, maybe they just see a dead body. I'm, I'm at... Man, Down the last main. three. I'm, I'm the oh, Lish, Lish just said we're sending surge parties out. So they're yeah, gonna start, there you go. Start going hunting, baby. There you go. Well played by Lish. Yeah, copy. I feel like uh, yeah. sandbags. They had the time to just continually build it up, build it up, and got a solid hold on that south side. Really built oh. a lot of something out of a lot of nothing that was down there. You know, they connected a lot of stuff. I mean, they had a couple, couple walls and some containers. You know. Yeah, he really did. And he, I think he just sent, I think Alexo down to build a little super fob here. He kept it real basic. Yeah. You know, just a a, a little circle in and outs. Room for bunkers with oh, a boys. with a frag shield in the middle. And whoever went up north, they, they went crazy. They built a big loop, basically put an extension on this compound up to the road so that they had that altitude advantage. They could see at a little bit of elevation so they could see across that field. That's actually really smart. Yep, absolutely. To do that. And they could see that way. They could see across the field that way. And it helped them win. I think that's how they were hitting those BTRs with those long rockets, which were beautiful. Basically said, yeah, come for us. We're right here. Let's see what you got. And they held them. In the meantime, there are Russians way out there. And I, <laughs> I don't think they can. There's no holes in the fence or anything. So they have to go all the way up to that next hole. Yeah. Which is, you know, that's. I don't know, 400 meters. That's a long ways away. They're shovel it right now. Yep, they are. We'll see if the scout team's going on. Oh, yeah, there goes Bajelin on the I west. He's scouting that way. Clear off the east. Roger, someone check out the air hangers over there. We have. They're all kind of spread now, not getting too crazy. Roger, someone check out the air hangers over there. There's the actual fob itself. There's not much left going on down here. There's just the three guys way up north, way up there. Both Humvees are down, correct? Muff? Correct, correct. Both Humvees are down, both BTRs and the MTLB. No, no, nothing, nada. Although, yeah, I think uh, at least one Lodgy, no, both Lodgies and both transports for the U.S. are still up. I want to step right there. Like, we're just sweeping this one on foot. I feel like that's our best best chance. They are, they're spreading out a little bit. Yeah. Taking their time. If you don't see anyone, let's just make sure it's clear before we go in. If it is, then I can hear command there. chat getting impatient. Let's just wonder, and he's like, is this not GG? He doesn't know that those poor guys have got to walk around the entire airfield to get access. They couldn't go back where they came from. They saw what happened to their the rest of their squad. Stay crouched. Yeah, this is a pretty good fob, Krusty. You're right. It's a real good one. Yeah, I like what they I like what they did with it. They've just got good angles with good, you know, the bunker placement is almost random and it's hard to tell what is actually I guess from the top it's easier to tell what 
is a 50 cal bunker and what's just a regular bunker. Exactly. But, you know, they've got everything. They've coordinated it. They did have like three or four 50s aiming northeast. Actually paid off for them because that's where they came it's from. Right. 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 No, they no, they did GD dig GD one GD up. GD I think they GD only GD. went with two aiming east and northeast. And then they had Sorry. one aiming kind of northwest up the airfield and one aiming west at the hangars. Jimmy, if I kill because you, I swear to fucking God. You're welcome. I was a test dummy. I put my life before. Yeah, uh, yeah. I appreciate it. Like your lives before my own. All right, Jimmy is not gonna be. Oh, never mind. He's already done it. Hey, balls to the wall. That's the strategy right now. Copy. I'll watch the stairs. Hey, don't no, sprint down the no, stairs when we're going There's out because you'll inside. bleed and don't want to waste bandages. Like that, Jimmy. What did like that? Shut up. So I'll wait for these guys to actually make contact, Muff. Yeah, you're making noise. If you were setting up a defense right, here, which region would you like to choose right if you were doing this? Not even you know what? The map, if, kind of from me? afar? Yeah. How, how would you set this up? And you were command. And now I did. Okay. You, That's a tough one. Yeah. You know what? You can't build anything on the Jeez. actual... Yeah, you can't like block the uh, runway with anything. Okay, yeah, runway itself, really but you have a lot of that green. You have a lot of grass inside that so on either side of the runway. Buildings. You know what? I would I would tear it up at this northern end right now. Yeah, I would Speak go there. There's so many buildings and random cover you can place. Speaking of which, you could throw a, a like fob in the middle, and you could basically throw a giant you know, sandbag around it, build a fob. Mm -hmm. Of sandbags around here, like uh, like Lish did in the south, just do it up here. And they 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 had that going, and they actually won with it earlier. Yeah, it worked out pretty good. Did, yeah, they just didn't. Jimmy, don't do it. They were so spread out. Schmitty had his guys on the west, up in storage site. Yep. Oh, comedy DK goes down to Big Jimmy. You killed him, but all right. Now now I'm gonna run. Oh, Big Jimmy got hit. He, I see him bandaging. Hammered Hebrew is lighting them up. Need to fall back, man. They know we're here. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna get flanked from the south at this point. See if there's an entrance on the east. Jimmy Copy. just holds. I'll figure it out. But there is an AR in the doorway of that other building. Peeking. Ooh, I think there's a break. Yeah, there's a break. Careful, run. Story. Yep, that two story. So it looks like this is probably going to be where the Russians are going to stop one. their movement. <laughs> oh, hammered Hebrew goes down. Looks like Silas took him out, or maybe the Silverman. Yep, you got Alexa's so moving up on the other side. Silas so just, just so in, not taking any chances. I would love to see U.S. load up in a, in a transport and just drop off a load of troops in here. Oh, that would be awesome. Everybody load up. We're going in. Yep. Send another team. We're rolling. All right. That was him. But to give on Lish's credit, he doesn't know how many are left. You know? Okay. Yeah. It's good. I'm just shot dead body. Oh, Black Rose Red says he doesn't understand that Russians strategy right now. Well, for the most part, got him, by the way. they pushed to the south along the west side of the airfield. And when they got down there, they had the prettiest flank going, but they got spotted. One lucky nade. And lucky they nade. got shot at and kind of and lost a few guys. So they pushed back north. They, they can't just run across this airfield. It's deadly doing that. So they came back to the north. They're trying to push through these buildings and clear them out and then try to push south again with whatever sort of cover they can have. Don't yeah, pretty much just down to the, like the last guys trying to make another push. Um, at the end of the day, it's like, hey, you got to commit to a direction and then like follow through with it, you know. I'm gonna throw. So it just kind of goes down to them, like thinking, right. well, we'll try to go a, no a north approach, not really, maybe fully under under understanding like how dug in U.S. is and the 360 they got. Oh, Superman threw a grenade out, almost got. Uh, who's that? ZXDR Lobomau. We're down to Superman and Silas, and there is definitely gunfire. 
You up? Oh, Silas goes down, so we're down to our last man here. You up? Who is down? I think good job all by down. the U.S. Great job by the U.S. this round. That was actually pretty close. Is that all of them? I think that's yeah, all that's of them, everybody. right? Yeah, that's everybody. All right. All right I'll give them the good game. That's a great GG, everybody. All right. That's a GG. Well, sweet. Well, there it was, Operation Open Road. It's a beauty. Yeah, I'm interested to see how this what plays out one. in the future. You know, we saw one so north, one action. south. Uh, we didn't see anyone really use the hangars. And uh, we didn't see anyone really drop center of the field. So it'll be interesting to see how the... Uh, Future, you know. Yeah, and, and this this could be so interesting. I like the uh, I like the little control tower area as well, just for just to kind of as like an adjacent Overwatch area. Not like I would have guys up in there all the time or anything, as that's a two way stream there. But definitely uh, excellent Overwatch on on a pretty large area, you know. So it'll be neat to see yep, how that unfolds a, later on. That is one of the biggest things. Such a large area to cover. Mm -hmm. It really is. If the Russians can find where the U.S. isn't looking, they can push in and really be a threat. Or if they just distract them. It happened both times where the Russians distracted the U.S. and were able to advance. Yep. And boy, it could have hurt them big time, but they barely got spotted in round two. Uh, Hadwin. SOTT isn't only on Thursday nights. They they do impromptu sessions. And, and usually you can catch one on a Saturday and and maybe other times but uh, look uh, pay attention to the announcements channel of our discord if you're if you're in our discord that's that's a big one to pay attention to that's where they'll say you know impromptu session starting now or soon but we'll also we're going to try to expand uh, operation times or even just come up with new events to incorporate different days of the week, you know, maybe, maybe infantry only for a night, you know, do a couple maps of infantry only, or gosh, we did a regulars event where we race bicycles, race motorbikes around for a minute and stuff like that. So there's a lot of things. Join the discord. Check us out at squadops.gg. Absolutely. And good and times. Definitely. Yeah, definitely keep up with the announcements uh, if you're looking to get involved and get an SOTT session in. That, that's the way to do it. There's always new, there's always impromptu SOTT sessions, uh, at least during the weekend. But usually one, I guess. So if you're around, maybe you can roll the dice, catch it at the right time. But yeah, like Hutch said, this is Operation Open Road. What a great one. It was a good one tonight. Got want to thank Lish and Schmitty for commanding as well as their uh, squad leaders, Best Pony, Xbit, Alexo, Benbot, OD Tap, and Krusty the Sailor. Uh, big ha uh, big shout out to you, my man, Hammering Hutch, for yes, creating such an excellent operation. As Happy always, the cameras, the cameras that are always doing awesome. Uh, we got Bart, Xbit, J. Remick, Lish, Schmitty, Alexo, Sedingo, Hyper Evo, Bunny, and a crazy Russian. All right. Excellent. This none of this is none of this awesome footage is possible without those guys. Uh, my name's Muff. I was here with Hutch tonight, commentating with me. It was great to hear him uh, go into depth about this operation. I'd love to have him back. I hope everybody else would too. And of course, the magician behind it all, Pen. <laughs> does the camera changes? He makes all this pretty stuff happen. Everybody, clap for Pen. That's right. Yeah. My man. <laughs> and of course, anybody and everybody involved with Squad Ops or this community or that enjoys watching these videos or anything like that, thank you all so much as well. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and definitely, gonna, guys. We'll thanks be, for stopping by. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We'll be Our back viewers. Saturday night for another one. Absolutely. Yeah. Look forward Again. to seeing you guys then. Oh, yeah. Again, this is Operation Open Road on Yeho Rivka. It's March 29th. And this is Squad Ops. And we'll see you next time. Adios.